morning guys so today i'm vlogging it's saturday pretty much the only day i vlog because during the weekend i'm really really busy so i decided to vlog today i have a bunch of things to tell you and to show you this is around the time i vlog around the time where i have to tell you or show you something um so today is saturday as i said i think it is march 28th and I am doing a lot of things today and I thought let's vlog it because during the week I don't do anything special besides school and homework and come back home and that is it so so now I am getting ready to go to my mom's sister she wants to help um, she wants me to help her um, to watch the kids and so she can do some work in the house and I am going to go and help her I'm not gonna do my makeup really you know I'm just gonna put some foundation and eyebrows and then I'm gonna come back home and film a video for um, my birthday It's gonna be um, hair and makeup for my birthday like I did last year like sweet 16 I'm gonna do um, uh, my birthday, happy 17 hair and makeup type of video. <laughs> I don't know exactly how I'm gonna call it because I don't want to do like a get ready with me because that means I have to show the outfit and outside it's really not good. It is raining. I cannot go film it and I really want to film it today because I have one week to edit because next Saturday it's my birthday and I want to upload it on April 4th. So I have just one week and today is the only day I can film. Um, tomorrow it's hectic. I cannot film it tomorrow. So I really want to film it today and after I come back, remove my makeup and gonna film it. And after that, I'm gonna leave with my mom. We are going to do some shopping, um, some grocery shopping, and and then we're going to a place to buy some wax because I don't have any wax, um, and some things for doing your manicure. And you know, I'm gonna show you if I can vlog like a little bit there, uh, show you how it looks like. The, it's a big place where you can buy all these self care things. And now I'm gonna go. I have to get ready. I'm already late. It is 10 o'clock. I should be there around 10 and a half. So I'm gonna go there. And after that, I'm gonna start filming. I also have a bunch of things to show you that I got yesterday. Oh my god, this is so dark. <laughs> I hope you can see me. It's really dark. Outside is raining. I'm gonna show you when I get out. It's raining. It's really disgusting outside two days before it was really sunny i went outside in t-shirt like come on and now it's raining and it's cold i don't even know what i'm gonna wear so anyway i'm gonna talk to you when i'm ready and i'm about to leave oh my god it's raining why gosh Oh my goodness, I have to hurry up. I didn't think it would rain and it's raining really bad and I didn't have an umbrella. I mean, it's not really, really bad, but it's still raining and I'm getting wet. <laughs> yeah, I'm scared of putting the phone higher because there are people on the street. Okay, so it is way late than I expected to come home. It is 2.22. I was expecting to come home at like 12 so I can film and I can't, and I can't film anymore. Um, I think I'm going to film tomorrow or for sure I'm going to film tomorrow because that is literally the last day. I'm really, really busy tomorrow but I'm going to wake up earlier, get ready and then leave. So... I'm still gonna vlog today, 
show you what I had to show you, uh, tell you what I had to tell you, and take you with me and show what I get there. Uh, I just came home now and it took so long be because my aunt went to buy some things um, from the grocery store. Her husband is not home. Uh, I think he's working or something. And I had to stay with the kids and I filmed some clips towards the end uh, when we were playing. He was not really feeling it anymore. So he was kind of bored. And I had to stay with them and then he came home after like 40 minutes. And um, I waited a bit because she wanted to cook something or at least to put the things, um, prepare the things. And then I left and I'm home now. Um, so I'm going to wait for my mom to get ready and leave. And I'm going to show you what things I am, I bought yesterday and also today my dad is placing the order for my birthday i am gonna show you in a birthday haul what i got but i'm gonna show you quickly like an overview of what i'm getting um the things that we order and some things we're gonna go in the store and buy them i'm really excited i planned this list forever ago So we are having some guests coming over. I didn't know that they are coming. Um, my mom just told me they are in my city um, today and tomorrow and they decided to come today. Um, they are the ones that we are going to their uh, wedding this summer. So I guess they're coming to invite us there. I don't know where they're gonna leave, probably around 7 so around that time I'm gonna show you what I have bought I have everything in here and on my desk and on this bag which is on my desk so I have things everywhere but yeah I just wanted to tell you I'm going to brush my hair and make it look somewhat presentable and my face is looking good I just put some more foundation put mascara on my eyebrows were done and I have the same sweater because, as I told you, today is raining and it's pretty cold outside. This is what I wore. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm excited to see them. I haven't seen them in, like, years. And they're having the wedding this summer and we're going. But they're coming to tell us about it and give us the invitation and all that. So... Yeah, I'm, I'm excited. <laughs> okay, so here I am at 7 o'clock, how I predicted. Um, they just left and I was so happy to meet them. I haven't met her before, his future wife, but she's really nice and really, she's a good girl. And I really liked her. We talked a lot and I just so miss them and I'm really happy that I had to meet them and now I want to show you what I got and <laughs> um, to finally clean up my room because it's been so crazy and I just don't like when my room is so messy so anyway I'm gonna bring everything in my bed so I can show it to you and <laughs> or actually you know what I think I'm gonna put my phone on the desk and show it to you there and I'm gonna use my frontal camera so you can see Okay, so you can see me pretty well. So, I'm gonna start with um, things that I have bought yesterday. Okay, so the first store we went to is Oshan, and I got two makeup products. This is gonna be like a beauty haul slash um, food haul slash um, DIY haul. <laughs> anyway, it's gonna be a haul. So the first thing that I got is this Garnier Micellar Water. I had one that I absolutely love. It is the one with the pink cap and I have like this much left. And I really, really love that one. It is all that I'm removing my makeup with. And after I remove all my eye makeup and the majority of my face makeup, I wash my face and then I take a makeup wipe to properly 
remove everything and make sure that all is gone. And I wanted to try this one because it says combination to oily skin and also for sensitive skin. And it says pure active, um, removes makeup, cleanses, and purifies micellar cleansing water. So I got this one. It smells the same or maybe a bit different but uh, nothing really dramatic. And I love this one. It looks like this and I just love it. Okay, and the next thing is this exfoliant mask, uh, peach scrub. This is like the St. Ives peach, peach scrub that everyone has and talks about in the States. Uh, it looks like this, and I just wanted to get it. I haven't tried it yet. I have from this same, from the same company, the um, clay mask, which I love. It's really nice. It's not too too drying but it's also not too watery it's just right in the middle and it's amazing i use it pretty much every saturday or sunday depending on when i have a free day and really surprisingly my cheeks have been really dry lately and i i don't know i had to exfoliate a lot more and i use my facial brush a lot more i i don't know why but it's just been like that. So I wanted to get a exfoliant mask. And this is like a gommage exfoliant mask. And it's like the Saint Ice Peach Scrub that everyone uses. And I'm excited to try this one out and include it in my skincare routine. Okay, and the next thing, we went to this um, store. It's called the Pro Beauty Shop. Um, and this, they have really... Uh, professional hair products and um, everything professional and I went there because they are really good with um, waxing like they have good waxing um, accessories and all that so I went there and I bought uh, this is the um, this is a gel after you wax this is a calming gel it's like um how you say this like um jelly form it's more like a jelly and you just pump it up and i wanted to get this one this was like let me see um about five dollars it wasn't expensive at all um i really i'm really excited to try it i tried it in the store because they had like a tester thing and I tried it and it was feeling really calming and I'm excited to try this after I wax my legs. It looks like this and that's what it says. It wasn't expensive at all, as I said, $5. Okay, and after that I just bought, um, let's see, I think I got six wax refills like this. I got six of them. As you probably know, uh, if you watch my waxing routine, like how I wax my legs at home, you know, I wax my legs and my arms at home. Pretty much I wax everything at home, but for my arms and for my legs, I use this type of wax. And for my armpits and my facial hair and all that, I use the little cold wax strips. So I got these and look just how pretty they look like <laughs> it looks like a watermelon i don't know why i feel like that but anyway so i got two light green and this is um oleo d'argan i'm not quite sure argan oil this apparently has argan oil i didn't think that um it was having argan oil i thought it, this was like lime or something and then i got two pink ones and this is with, um, I don't know, it doesn't say anything. I don't know, <laughs> probably grapefruit or something. It doesn't have a smell, it's just I wanted them to be colorful because when I apply them to see if I missed a spot or something, um, because after that it's so annoying when you're like sticking and you're really sticky and you stick on everything, so... I like them being colorful and I haven't tried this one before. I had the pink one and the dark green. This is with, I don't know, it says just green depilatory wax. This is just a dark green and uh, 
they all have been I mean one is like um, two dollars I think one of this so I paid on these um, twelve dollars about twelve dollars and I really really like this type of wax it is from this brand let me let me show you I don't know how well you can see the brand it does have like that circle and also this eternal brand I like that too so this is like where I got mine and I'm sure they're good I haven't tried this one as I said but it's the same thing so I'm excited to try that out and then my mom got a hair dye from Callus. I don't really like Callus. I mean, it's not bad. I dyed my hair first time using this color, this brand in the black color. And I wasn't really surprised. I guess it wasn't working for my hair. So I'm using the Garnier uh, olive oil one. And that one is really good for me. I'm gonna dye my hair in this spring break. I'm so excited. Now, maybe you don't see it as well, but it is starting to look brown, especially on the top. And I wanna be back with a strong black color. So I'm gonna dye my hair again in the springtime and I'm really excited uh, for a change. And maybe for the little cut, I don't know. I got my hair cut for like this much, I would say, this much about a few weeks ago like three weeks ago and it's been growing really fast since then you can see how long my hair is and I really like how she cut it um, I like having the front pieces pretty long as you can see they're really long I don't like having them short I don't know I like that before but I don't like it anymore so anyway let's get this out of the way because <laughs> you can see them um, so yeah, that's what I got from there, and I paid a lot, a lot. I, I got them, but I don't get them daily or something, so it's not a lot, but anyway. And then from Lidl, I got myself something sweet, and I got a lollipop. <laughs> when I saw this, I was like, oh my god, I want a lollipop, and this is a pink lollipop. I was really excited when I saw this one and also oh my god if you know these things and I'm sure you do you had a great childhood these type of chocolate was my favorite the um, chocolate covered in money you have euros um, like 50 500 uh, 10 and you have some euro cents and it looks like this. I'm sure you know them. If you have tried them, you love them. The chocolate is not really, really good, but look at them. They just, when I look at them, I, I just, I, I can't stop smiling. I'm so happy when I see them. It's just something joyful inside of me. And then I got... Let's see. Oh my god. This is so exciting. I got a hot glue gun from Lidl. Oh my god. I am so excited for this thing. I wanted to get it because in the summer I want to do a project with... Uh, and I'm sure you know if you look around Pinterest or on YouTube. It's that um, canvas where you stick some... Um, what's that called? Uh, wax crayons and you melt them and if you put them in a heart shape and you melt them it's gonna look really pretty and that's what I want to do like a DIY for summer I really want to do that with some uh, wax crayons and then I'm gonna melt them and I really needed this one I want to start doing more DIYs like start doing DIYs because I haven't done them before and this was a staple piece so I wanted to get one and it was about ten dollars or even less like eight dollars and I'm really excited because I got it and um you do have it does come with uh ten no six um glue sticks and I think I can buy them from like a craft store or something um so I'm really really excited for this one I've been like oh my god when I saw this I was like yes I'm getting this this is the first step for doing DIYs and not just for videos, but also for my house, for my room and 
different projects. Even at school, I had to do something for physics and I really needed something like this to glue it. So I'm excited for this one. I really am excited. Okay, so what I also wanted to tell you is that I placed my order for my birthday. As you know, probably on April 4th is my birthday and I'm turning 17. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> I'm really excited and it's gonna be amazing. So for my birthday, um, I wanted to get some things that I can use and I can have. Like even last year, I really wanted things that I'm gonna use like a perfume clothes uh, maybe makeup wise something so for this year I wanted to get a really nice perfume I watched some perfume collections video um, especially um, Kathleen Light's perfume collection I was really inspired by that one and I I realized that I don't have like a staple perfume like something that's expensive and I, that I'm gonna use just one pump and I can smell good all day. So, uh, for the past months, I have been trying and smelling the La Vie et Belle from Lancome uh, perfume. And I just love, love that scent. It is so, so good. It It's so fun and girly and romantic and strong and everything at the same time in one bottle. I cannot describe that one. It's so good. I looked online and the main scent in there is vanilla and um what what was the other one? I don't remember now, but I'm going to insert on the screen the exact ingredients. But I so love that one and I have a little sample that Sephora gave me. I actually have two. I finished one like a dumb I got it on one day at school and I put it on myself and then I put it on some other girls and I finished it that day and I so regret it because I love it and now I have one in my pencil case that I take with me and it's just so good let me actually show you this is the little sample that I have as you can see <laughs> and it's halfway gone like look at that it's halfway gone and oh my god it smells so good and so strong and seductive and romantic and girly and florally I mean not really florally but uh, so I want to get that as my main gift and then I asked for $100 to go shopping I want to go shopping in the mall to get myself something uh, for spring. I want to get some shoes, something really, really light for spring. And also like a pair of um, light jeans or maybe some shirts, um, t-shirts or something like that. Something to wear for spring. And then... Um, this is like the two main components of my gift, the perfume and clothes. And then I wanted to get some makeup brushes for my eyes. You know, um, it's pretty... It's I needed makeup brushes because I want to get more in detail with my makeup tutorials. And also, I tried to get ones that are cheap and also accessible and affordable for everyone so I got um, some Jessa brushes you know I have my Kabuki Jessa brushes which I'm really impressed with um, for the money that I paid on them and for the quality and for how good they blend I'm just so damn impressed and I wanted to get some eye brushes from Jessa as well so I got a full-on set with some awesome brushes some for the eye and even some for the face and I also got another kabuki set but just with the five pieces kabuki face brushes uh, so it does have the flat top, round top, tapered, uh, flat angled and round angle so I have five face kabuki brushes as you know I screwed my flat top one uh, when I was squeezing the water I just pushed it inside and all the 
bristles got inside, got stuck inside. And actually, let me show you. This is how it looks now. Uh, it's I just was squeezing it, and I guess I just got like in the. I pushed them back, and <laughs> this is how it looks like. So I'm really sad about that. And I got another Kabuki five pieces set. Another Kabuki, no Kabuki. It's a Jessup. I think it's twenty pieces for face and eyes, and one just for the eyes. So I'm gonna have a lot more eye brushes and I think after that I'm not gonna buy brushes anymore because I think when after I get them I have the mm, everything that I need for doing makeup like a professional not deep professional but for what I do makeup and for me it's more than enough so I think after that I'm gonna stop with brushes I know I'm not gonna keep that, but for the most part, uh, I think after that it's enough. I have, I'm gonna vlog next week, uh, weekend when it's gonna be my birthday, and I'm gonna vlog that because I really wanted to, and I'm gonna vlog from the moment I wake up to the moment I go to bed, and I'm gonna vlog when everyone is sending me messages in the uh, midnight. Oh my god, it's gonna be so much fun! I'm so excited. Uh, and I'm gonna turn 17, like, come on, this is such nice age. I cannot believe that I'm turning 17. This is crazy, crazy, crazy. Oh, I cannot believe I'm gonna be 17. Oh my god. So, anyway, I'm gonna wrap it up now. And I will see you guys tomorrow and also next weekend for my birthday. Tuk, 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 tuk. Birthday girl, birthday girl, birthday girl. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm going crazy. So, anyway, hope you guys enjoy. And I'm gonna see you tomorrow. Mm -hmm.